This is a metaphor. Enjoy. <laughs> In the wake of a disaster, a flower sprouted. The Jewish people created a homeland, a state to call their own. A home for a nation whose members have been displaced for thousands of years. They created a safe haven that would turn into a thriving, productive, and altogether phenomenal homeland. This state came with a new opportunity to build a distinguished nation held to high standards held to high standards of international conduct, law, religion, democracy, and peace. Today, Israel exists to provide the Jewish people with their seat at the table of the community of nations. This legitimacy provides a voice to a people once marginalized, dispersed, and ignored. For this reason, it is important to never forget the struggles of our ancestors, the very lineage that is responsible for the Jewish homeland of today. Today, Israel stands as a beacon of hope and stability for its people, a physical manifestation of the determination, strength, and compassion of the Jewish people. Hold on. The only democratic nation in the Middle East is home to an open-minded and progressive culture. Yet, this state, necessary and well-deserved, stoked a conflict that is seemingly unending. Pain has been felt on both sides of this conflict. Actions, regardless of justification, occurred and history was written. Yet, as seen in Israel's past, out of tragedy emerged the hopes of a nation. Out of other tragedies that befall men and women in this region in the past, present, and future, we patiently wait for the flower to reemerge. To sow the seeds of peace is the greatest accomplishment one can have. I stand here today in love with the state of Israel, but in awe of the work that she has before her. Thank you.